In this video, we will be discussing about Talent Big Data Architecture. So this contains six uh, different components. Uh, the first one is client, then the repository, there is a server, there is a databases, and there is an execution server, and then the external Hadoop cluster. So the main difference between um, a DI versus uh, Big Data is uh, the introduction of Hadoop cluster. Right? This can be um, uh, Hortonverse, Cloudera, or any other custom distribution from uh, anyone uh, talent has got connectivity uh, for all such uh, you know, distributions um, so this is the extra component in the uh, talent big data architecture right let's move on and then try to understand each of these component clearly uh, the next uh, section is um, the client and then the repositories so the repositories is used uh, to store all your source code in git and then the built code into artifact repository and the studio is uh, configured using the tag URL, right? All the uh, uh, configurations for Git repository and then the job servers, Hadoop clusters and everything uh, is uh, configured uh, well within uh, the tag. And uh, you, uh, all you do is, you know, you configure your studio uh, with a remote repository using tag connection. Whenever you're done with the talent job development, your job, uh, the source code gets committed to uh, your uh, git git is our uh, version control system and when the job is ready to execute and you know tested uh, we um, take care of you know uh, building the job and then publishing to nexus artifact repository nexus is a built-in um, artifact repository uh, i mean at least provided by talon uh, it can be uh, any other um, you know softwares as well for holding uh, the built code right so uh, the way uh, talent studio works with the repository is for every save of a source code uh, it uh, saves into git and every publish activity goes and sits in uh, the artifact repository and once that is done you use your browser to log into tag uh, in order to uh, deploy the job or execute or uh, schedule it so that's all about uh, the tag and uh, sorry the client and then the repository side let's move on and then check on the server side uh, here as you see uh, there's a talent administration center and uh, there are uh, several components here as well um, so before we uh, talk about this uh, there is a IAM uh, which is identity access management uh, which also uh, handles all the SSO uh, single sign-on authentication for each of these application right um, so TAC is uh, nothing but talent administration center this is where you perform all the operations um, such as you know creating users uh, scheduling the job assigning uh, particular roles uh, for the developers or operation manager and things like that so for each such activity on tag is um, saved onto a uh, separate schemas in a direct uh, database you can have uh, multiple databases or it can be on one single database uh, in a different schema or even it can be a separate set of uh, tables inside one uh, database so the better practice is you know having it in a separate uh, schemas right so uh, so there's a admin uh, related uh, database that stores only the user uh, rights roles and things like that and there's an audit and monitoring is used by um, the execution uh, it will take care of uh, capturing the start time and time status what is the error um, all your uh, you know data points related to stats you know log catchers and uh, uh, stat catchers uh, those activi activities also get saved onto the, these databases right and there is a, a separate uh, section called uh, there is one uh, one more uh, database here for the data quality that is directly used by the studio so coming down here, uh, you see a talent data preparation. This is a desktop free uh, software. Uh, this is where uh, the software can be uh, quickly used to perform any data preparation activity for any marketing campaign or any uh, loyalty programs you can generate. Um, you know, you can use your input file and then uh, perform some operations on it and then do the filtering. Um, so those type of uh, data preparations can be done on uh, the TDP. And TDS and uh, dictionary services are uh, separate services. Uh, they're all they're already in you know, a web application, and uh, it stores all the semantic types uh, used for uh, other purposes. 
we'll be talking about these two in a separate video uh, so for now we'll cover the tag uh, TDP and then the IAM um, you know components right so these are the databases that's how uh, tag will keep communicating back and forth uh, in order to retrieve or store uh, these data points moving on uh, we have uh, execution right execution servers and then the external Hadoop cluster so this is where our actual execution will be happening uh, as soon as a user from studio or from a browser when he hits uh, run the job uh, remotely uh, the control will be passed to the job server all the standard DI jobs will be executed on the job server and any ESB or uh, runtime uh, jobs will be running on the runtime uh, servers right so that is the main difference um, between job server and runtime and all the big data jobs uh, using any HDFS operation Hive or any other uh, uh, operations will be directly uh, redirected to the external Hadoop cluster and job server will take care of uh, communicating with the external Hadoop cluster um, and Hadoop cluster actually performs all the data uh, loading uh, aggregations or any other uh, type of you know, transformation everything will be done on the uh, Hadoop cluster side so uh, that's all uh, that's all about uh, this entire architecture